Welcome back again guys with the video number 7 of Oracle Real Application Cluster 19C Lab Setup. So as you can see here right now we reach to this uh, point which is Setup DNS. So the best practice to have the DNS server outside the rack but in this case because here I, I don't have enough resource to have another uh, server so I'll put the DNS on the first node but the best practice to have it outside in separate server okay so just because this for just only demonstration for you how to set up but the best practice to have it outside and you have a standalone dns server of course each company have the dns especially if you have active directory of course you need a dns server so let's go ahead and start our uh, setup for the dns so as you can see here, I have here the root user using terminal in Oracle Linux um, 8.5 and I have, I have here also my document. I prepare this document to like uh, symbol just copy paste and uh, as you can see here, we need just first to um, copy and paste. First, I want to install the uh, bind and bind util utils. Once we have the bind utils uh, installed and completed, we need to check the host name CTL. This will show us the host name information. You can see here that we have rack one dot rack domain dot com. So we know that this is the information that we have. And here we have also a couple of information about the operating system and the virgin and the kernel. Okay so let's move right now to configure the bind so let me first stop the bind and disable it once we have the name service um name d service is stopped and and uh, disabled we need to take a backup of this configuration file slash etc name.config i make a backup from it now I prepare this script just to help me to configure the name. So I will copy this one till of here on the file. Then I will do vim the dns dot s dot sh and like this. Then control x and exit with save. Let me just change mode plus x to dns ls minus l yeah so dns like this hit enter now let's get the etc named dot config we can see here that let's check what we have done okay let's see that's the options we add the listen on port 53 and we add here the um this uh, this uh, node uh, ib to be listening on this uh, on, on this IB. Now we can see here also the allowed query under this subnet. So any any uh, BC or any node or any server added to this uh, subnet will be able to uh, reach if you add this DNS IB to that uh, computer. Only allowed uh, host. Yeah. So we have we have also the zone. We have the forward zone here. We add a forward zone. The file will be forward dot rack domain dot com. This file should be created, and we have also backward zone or reverse zone. This one will be also a file should be created on the um, uh, should be created. Yeah. So I will create both both of them right now. Let me just clear the screen. So let's create first the forward backward zone okay the first one is the forward this one what's contained contain the here i put the domain rack rack one dot rack domain dot com domain dot rack dot com i put here also the ibs list of all of them then i put also the ib address for name server which is this one will be the name server so i put the ib here I will put also the rack one and this the A record which is the IB version uh, IB V4 version 4 10 10 20 1 1 1 and uh, then 1 1 2 
and then 113 and so on and then also put the rack uh, which is the the name the names uh, the name of the server will be so if you ping the rack once we add the server to the dns once we ping or ns lookup for the rack it will show you this ib okay so let me just uh, copy this one like this and paste it here and hit enter then so we can go to the var and then name d then forward and we can see here this is added okay from here we can see this added to the uh the var named as a configuration so let's do the same for backward let me just copy this one and let's hit enter again let's let me just uh, clear and make it cat var named and then backward you can see here that if you if you hit uh, the ib 10 10 20 uh, 11 it will show you this domain and the same for the other so this one if you put the ib for ns lookup it will show you that this is the name of this uh, this ib or this server belong to this uh, server or this ib so i will show you right now we will test now because we are working as a root so we need to change the the uh, the owner for those files let me just first uh, show you var named let's list we can see here that this one is root and root and this one also is root and root so let's change this one to be um like this make both of them list list again and now we can see both of them are belong to the name name d now let's test the dns configuration so we have here name d which is uh, name daemon uh, check config let's check the configuration there is no error that's mean everything is fine let's check the zone and we need also to put the zone uh, configuration file like this so what what this one uh, do we put rack domain it should give me okay as we can see here it's okay that's mean there is nothing other configuration is fine for this one the same for name like this this is for backward i put the ib it should bring for me okay and everything is fine so let's right now i will uh, system ctl i will just uh, start because if you remember i stop it so i need to start it back again and now also i need to enable because i disable it i disabled it yeah now it's enabled let's check the status system ctl status name d you can see here it's running and there is nothing and everything is fine so once we enable so we need to check right now if we do like this and let's look up it will not show us anything rack one so what we need to do we need to uh, configure and uh, this um, host or this node to uh, take everything from this uh, dns server so how we can do this we need to change and the resolve config we need to add this server to the resol resolve config so we add the name server is 10 10 20 1 uh, 111 and uh, now we need also to do the same for this interface let me just check if this interface is there yeah 3 s3 yep we need to add this dns server here one one and then i will exit save and uh, that's it now if we do like this ns lookup rack one we can see that it's respond back from the dns server which we configure that's this ib this rack one the ib for it is 10 10 20 1 1 uh, 1 so let's check also the rack 2 let's see we can see that it's working fine no issue 
then rack one um let's check the vib uh, we can see also the vib rack to vib it's work so we need, we need to waste time on this now we if you want to configure the firewall here i i disabled the firewall but in case if you have firewall you need to add this uh, dns service to the firewall and allow it to be um, exposed to the outside of the operating system or to the uh, exposed to the to the network then you need to reload that's it for the dns configuration so the next step i will do just um, clone this machine and prepare it for the installation thank you for watching and see you next video have a nice day bye